good morning students welcome to the english language class and today we'll read chapter number 6 adjectives degrees of comparison as we all know that adjectives are used to describe nouns but do you know adjectives can also be used to compare nouns let's read the sentences Mohit is tall. Ashish is taller than Mohit. Saurav is the tallest of three. Now notice here the word tall, taller, and tallest are all adjectives. In the first sentence, tall is a positive degree, the simple form of adjective. in the second sentence taller is a comparative degree that helps us to compare two nouns we use then with comparative degree as you can see in the example ashish is taller than mohit there's a comparison between mohit and ashish and the word then is used in comparative degree and in the third sentence tallest is the superlative degree that helps us to compare more than two nouns we always use the with superlative degree now let's learn how to form degrees of comparison of adjectives formation of degrees of comparison by adding er and est to the given positive words the word is high we use er we can form comparative degree by adding word er and it becomes higher and by adding est the word becomes highest in the superlative degree in the similar way cold becomes colder and in comparative degree and it becomes coldest in superlative degree now the next one is by adding r and st two adjectives ending in e the word is large simply by adding r we make comparative degree larger and by adding st to form superlative degree and the word becomes large larger and largest and in the similar way the word pure becomes purer in comparative degree and purest in superlative degree now the next one is by replacing y with i and adding er and est to form comparative and superlative degree the word is pretty ending with y for making comparative degree we just have to replace y with i and add er to make its comparative degree and the word becomes prettier and in superlative degree we have to add est and the word becomes prettiest in its superlative degree and in the similar way the word is lazy it becomes lazier and laziest now by doubling the consonant doubling the last consonant and adding er and est to the positive word and the words are big and hot in a word big we'll just double the last consonant and add er to form its comparative degree and est to form its superlative degree and the word becomes big bigger biggest and in the same way the word hot becomes hotter and hottest now you have learned how to form the degrees of comparison so this exercise you'll be doing on your own just have to fill positive degree comparative degree and its superlative degree is already given to you and the next sentence 
Now, the next exercise is complete this passage about Chitra and Danny using the adjectives from the box. Some of the adjectives, degrees of adjectives are given in the box and you have to complete this fill in the blanks with the help of these adjectives. So, let's do the first one for you all. This is the dash dash poem Chitra has ever read. So, in the first blank, we'll be filling. This is the funniest poem Chitra has ever read. At the same time, it is very difficult to understand. It is harder than any other poem she has ever read. So here, all these blanks, now you'll be doing on your own. Now come to the next exercise, that is exercise C. In this also, you have to complete the passage with the correct degrees of comparison of adjectives that is given in the bracket. Now, let me do one or two for you all. Mr. and Mrs. Mehra are proud of their youngest son. The last degree of comparison, supernative degree of comparison of young will be filled here, youngest. Mr. and Mrs. Mehra are proud of their youngest son. He is smarter than his siblings. Now, you have to do it like this, so on. Now, let's move on to the next exercise, that is D1. Rewrite the sentences by using the adjectives in the degrees mentioned. And you have to make any other necessary if required. You have to change in the degrees of comparison as it is directed in the bracket. First one is already done for you. Let's begin with the next one, second one. No girl is as busy as Sanjana and you have to form it into a superlative degree. And the sentence becomes, Sanjana is the busiest girl. Second one, the blue whale is the biggest mammal. You have to rewrite the sentence using comparative degree. And the sentence becomes, no other animal no other mammal is as big as the blue whale. And in the similar way, you'll be filling sentence 4, 5 and 6. Rewrite all these sentences by using the degrees of comparison given as directed in bracket. Now next one is, it's a creative writing. Walk in pairs and describe your friend. Write a short paragraph about him or her using adjectives and make sure you use the degrees of comparison. Do yourself. Now children, as we all know, we use superlative degree to compare three or <clears throat> more nouns. For most short words, we add EST. As see in the example, the big cat is the fastest. For word that ends with E, we add ST to form the superlative degree in its short form. And the example is the orange cat is the cutest. And for words that ends with vowel plus consonant, we just double the last consonant and add EST to the given word, positive word, to form its superlative degree. And the example is the brown dog is the wettest. And for long words, we add the most before the word. Example is, the sea is the most dangerous. Now, let's revise once more. A superlative degree compares three or more nouns 
for example tall taller and tallest vowels are the letters a e i and o u consonants are all the other letters so that's all in this chapter thank you